This is my new intro animation created in Procreate Dreams. Hello everyone, I'm Gus and this is Why Gus Illustration. After a long time with almost no activity in the channel, I wanted to welcome you back. I want to tell you that I wasn't in vacation this time. I had to take this time outside of YouTube to finish projects that I had started a long time ago. I also wanted to make a change to the channel and to my personal brand. And that is what this video is about. I was ready to come back. I was preparing this video when... Yes, I had a surgery that kept me away for two more weeks. But I'm here again to bring more illustration, animation, and art in general. But especially for us to keep learning together. In this video, I want to show you how I made the new intro animation for my videos using Procreate Dreams. Are you as excited as I am? Let's start. A while ago, I wanted to do a change in my channel picture. So I decided to make something much more personal. I was more personal than my hand. And with that, of course, I need a change in my intro. To start with the animation, I'm going to start tracing over the lines of my new logo. This line should be very precise. So the transition from the animated hand to the real hand is almost invisible. In the animation, I want the hand to open. So I draw two positions one with the open hand and one with the closed hand. I drew two fists. The first one is a fist in a normal position holding the pencil. And the second one is a fist much more closed as a transition movement before opening the hand. Now it's time for the in-betweenings. I want the hand to open in an explosive movement. Reason why there won't be many positions between the closed fist and the open hand. We'll see mostly many transition lines between one movement and the next. In my first transition picture, I'm going to do the fingers going from a bend to a straight position. Reason why the fingers are still a little bent. The lines in the tip of the fingers show where they should be in the closed fist position. I can even draw lines to show the fingernails movement. The next position is we're going to show how the fingers stop. In this position, the fingers extend beyond their final position. After this position, fingers are going to return to their original position. And this is basically the whole hand movement. Now you can color each one of the poses. Keep in mind to maintain the same colors, lights, and shadows. I use the blending tool to add some motion blur to the movement. For the lights, I'm going to use a yellowish white color. I set this track to overlay and I lower the opacity. I do the same with the pencil. When opening the hand, I wanted the pencil to turn quickly and to end in a final position. I use the move and scale tool. I, cha I change the anchor point to the center of the pencil and I turned it a couple times. Al tener todo el movimiento de la mano y el lápiz juntos, vamos a empezar a dibujar las líneas que aparecen dentro del logo. 
Primero dibujé las líneas completamente. Para hacer que las aparezcan, voy a dibujar por encima de ellas, poco a poco. Coloreo por encima de ellas hasta que las cubra completamente. Algo que aparezca en las líneas principales primero y luego en las líneas secundarias. Convierto cada uno de esos frames en una máscara de capas. In this way we see how the de esta forma vemos cómo las líneas comienzan a aparecer. Finalmente, unas líneas blancas van a aparecer formando círculos y luego van a cubrir toda la pantalla de blanco. For this, I'm Para esto voy a usar mi lápiz de luz. In Procreate, I create en Procreate a creé un patrón de círculos que voy a usar para hacer esta animación. I start with small Comencé con líneas segments. pequeñas que voy a hacerlo cada vez más grandes y moviéndolas hacia la izquierda o hacia la derecha. Cada vez voy formando círculos más completos y con líneas mucho más gruesas. Finalmente, sobre el fondo blanco, creo líneas para hacer un efecto de explosión. Y así revelamos la imagen del logo. I hope you liked the result, but especially I hope you have learned something from the process and that you can use it in your own animations. I hope you like this video, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, share it with someone who can find this content useful. See you in the next video. Adios.